So if you're using a clear text key management program in order to develop or create these key, your encryption keys, it's required that you use split knowledge and dual control. And this is one uh, requirement that many assessors have gotten wrong for many of years, uh, including myself. Uh, this is one requirement that we often see a lot of uh, clients struggle to understand. So taking uh, an encryption key and splitting it in half, uh, and giving half to one person and half to another, is not split knowledge and dual control. Um, it might be dual control, but it's not split knowledge. When we look at the definition of split knowledge and dual control, right, the dual control means that they're, they're, it takes more than one individual uh, to, to create this key uh, rotation ceremony. But when we look at split knowledge, it says that when we create the key, that no one individual has any knowledge of the resulting key. So where you take these two key halves and one person gets one half and another person gets the other half, um, that one individual knows what that half of that key is. So when developing, if you are developing or using a clear text key management program, uh, what we would recommend that you do is have some X or process where you have uh, your key custodian A and key custodian B uh, that has, you know, if you're going to be developing a 128-bit key, that each individual has 128 bits uh, of, of, a, of a key seed. Those individuals come together, they input their, their key into their application or their key seed into the application. The application then uh, goes through a process of XORing those two values together and then outputs the encryption key that nobody knows. Okay. Uh, so if this is a struggle for you, if, uh, if you need a better understanding of what clear text key management program looks like, uh, give myself a call, uh, talk to your assessor. They'll be more than happy to spend whatever time necessary to help you uh, to get through understanding what clear text key management program really looks like.